close call was kind of based on a little short story that I wrote about a, a, a gypsy who grows up on the Brighton Pier and flees her, her gypsy family for the U.S. in search of a better life through prostitution. Okay. And how does it end? <laughs> um, both tales actually don't, don't have a solid ending. They're sort of left open-ended as to not uh, kind of cast any judgment, you know. But okay. in close call, it's like, you know, you might strike it rich, but ultimately you might end up in the grave over it. Yeah, okay. But, um, so there, there is like, this seems like, uh, yeah, an overall theme on this album, which you said, uh, best sex you never uh. had. Um, what, what, is, is there a point to, um, is there a point to, uh, you want to make a point with the, with the lyrics? With Not one specific point. I think they're just aspects of, uh, you know, human relationships and sexuality and the kind of battle of the sexes in a lot of ways. And, and it's not, you know, necessarily like a, a heavy record, but it poses a lot of questions. Yeah, and that was, that was the idea. Yeah. And I think you realize in discussing this stuff later, you know, you write stuff kind of in a vacuum and you try to fit songs together on an album as best as you can to create a kind of theme. Yeah. Um, and some of them definitely reflect one another, but but um, they have kind of different tones within themselves. Did I ramble on? No, you didn't. You were very eloquent. <laughs> what do you think of her lyrics in general? I think they're good. <laughs> yeah. I think she's an excellent lyricist. I think this record um, sort of is about like survival in a way too, you know? about like surviving the human experience, you know, and trying to find happiness within it. And trying to accept, you know. Yeah, okay. And, uh, you know, all of, having said all of this and in keeping a sense of humor well, as well, I think some of these characters for sure can laugh at themselves. Yeah. Sure. And, I, and I think, Jenny, in, in, in as much as, well, you asked, what do I think of her lyrics? I think that I was really impressed because I think Jenny did some really courageous things on this record. For instance, a lot of our past records have been very, very cerebral, lyrically. And I think in writing a record about the human experience, Jenny was able to become a voyeur and speak from a less heady perspective, you know? Like in Smoke Detector, the words are fairly shallow. but I think there was a, a self-awareness in that. That was the, the intention. And so she became the character of someone watching this girl who was shallow. So the lyrics are shallow, you know? And I think that's hard to do when you've been known for your incredibly intense and cerebral lyrical output, you know? So yeah. I, I, I was very impressed, m most on this record, of any record, because it's hard to, to let go and, and try different things, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because on the last album uh, you got compliments from Elvis Costello, saying uh, it was the best lyrics he heard in years or so. Nice. Uh, do you think he, he will like this one? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no. just kidding. No, I, I don't know, maybe, you know, he might like aspects of it. I think he would like it. Um, I know he... I, in a lot of ways has written really wordy, descriptive songs and also kind of tried yeah. simpler ideas. Totally. Hopefully he'll, I mean, gosh, hopefully he will see the, the effort to try something new, even if that's the thing, you can try new things and sometimes you fail, but hopefully you just keep, keep going and keep evolving and trying new ways of telling like the same story.